Ha! Oh! Keep! Jeez! Oh, um? <laughs> Are they gonna fight? Okay. Hey all you cool creatures, I'm Cryptid. Welcome to the Cryptid Plays YouTube channel. Today we are continuing and likely finishing Yomawari Night Alone. Last time, if you recall, we were kidnapped and taken to the factory and had to find our way through there and we ended up finding our sister's charm. And after we went home, a spirit came into our house and left something for us. So we are going to find out what that is. Now, because this is a horror game and it has somewhat dark elements to it, I have some content warnings to share with you, which include flickering lights, disturbing imagery, implied death, not so implied death, and blood, gore, and violence. Although the blood and gore and everything else is not, of course, super graphically high quality so it's a uh, it's fairly tame but with that out of the way let's get started all right what did it leave us black crayon note found huh All right, black crayon note, an old note. It says the kidnapped will be taken to the other side of the tunnel. Oh no. Where's the tunnel? I'm going to assume it's over here. Oh dear. All right. Either that, cause there's the factory bridge factory. I think it's right there. All right, let us attempt this. I'm a little scared. Go outside. Yep. All right, kiddo. Is that the tunnel? Hmm. Actually, it might be that? Uh, I guess we'll find out. Okay. Nothing's kidnapping us this time around, so... Aha! Well, I think this is the right way. This might be correct, hopefully. I could be wrong. Is it just me or has the game gotten darker? Okay, not correct. Um. 
think the tunnel might actually be up above us. Hmm. That's not great. There were just a bunch of bloody hands in that window. Love that. Aha! Perfect. So this probably is correct. I feel like those hands are gonna appear in spots that are proper. Could be wrong. I also saw something up here. Besides you. Unhappy letter was placed in the post box. Oh my gosh. Okay, I guess we're sending out that letter. Uh, let's see. I think I might have to go down. This is the first place that we really went to, isn't it? Blackboard eraser found. Hmm. Ew. Unique bottle found. Mm -hmm. Human bone. Well, that's no bueno. I don't think I've been this way before, so... We're gonna keep going this way. Oh, I have, technically. This is where... Oro. Yeah. This tunnel. Now, now I see. bone found. God, God. Oh my god, I was worried for a second that I wouldn't be allowed to see anything. It's so foggy. I shouldn't go in there right now. A little shrine. Huh? This this is charm is glowing. Maybe I should lift it up. Yes. No. Frick. Frick a doodle. Let's see if I can do this. Ha! Ha! Oh! Yep. Oh! Jeez! Um? <laughs> Are they gonna fight? Okay.
Yep. Go around them, kid. Oof. Jeez. That was awful. <laughs> This place is dark and grassy. There is an invisible wall, so I can't really get, like, lost. I don't think we're in Kansas anymore, Poro. Alright, um... Tsuchinoko! Oh my god, the little fat snakes. Those are actually one of my favorite, uh, yokai. They're just so cute. Mm hmm. I don't know what notices me, but... This is just past here. It seems to render them basically harmless. Oh dear. Are there any more? Ah. Poof. That's nerve wracking. Where's the next house? Where's the next house? There it is. Or shrine, I guess. They look like little houses, but they're not. Oh. Graveyard. Alright. <gasps> Come on, kid. Now, which way do I go? Oh no. I see those. Oh, there's a save here. I guess I have to go up. I see you. I don't think I don't see. <laughs> oh, that was a loud crash. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, I don't entirely know what to do. Other than maybe bring them down this way? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have to save my stamina a bit. This is gonna suck. Oh boy. That's right. <laughs> I'm probably so screwed. This is terrifying. How many more of these horrible creatures do I have to deal with? Oh, really? Could have been worse. All right. Are there any more big old hands or am I okay? Sis! to light all these shrines, but this is gonna freaking suck. Oh. I believe there are six of these. Judging by the pattern.
close. I did it. <laughs> oh yeah. That was a horrifying boss. Not actually the worst. Just annoying. Sis? Sis? Don't die, sis. Hmm? Sis, are you okay? I came to look for you. Let's go home. Sis. I was so scared. I was so lonely, sis. Let's go home together, please. Don't you dare. Huh? Oh god. What the heck? Uh, what is this? It feels weird. Uh. Oh! <gasps> It's so dark. Like midnight. Light. I have to turn the light on. It's dark. I can't see anything. What just happened? Oh god.
Um, yes, let's save our clear data. So that was Yomawari Night Alone. Uh, before I actually give my thoughts, I want to apologize. I had accidentally toggled on my model's angry face, which was amusing. Um, I think it was like halfway through the video, but <laughs> it was completely an accident. But onto my thoughts for the game. It was an interesting game for sure. I can't say it was like my favorite horror survival sort of game. Um, there were things about it that I loved. Like I thought the monster designs were cool. I thought the use of music and sounds was done very well. And I thought the character herself was adorable and the whole thing with Horo was fairly heart-wrenching, but the story overall was... There wasn't a lot of emotional stuff in it. It was mostly just fear, which I'm okay with. Like, that's not a problem. It's just, uh, usually when I play indie horror games, I expect a lot more emotional stuff, and this one just didn't really have that. But... The story, it was, there was less to it than I thought. Like, I think there's theories about what is up with their town, why there's so many spirits. Um, there's no people around. I don't know if that's just kind of because she's out at night or if there's actually something up with their town. I can't tell. I could not glean much information about what the game was about beyond her finding her sister, which... I'm not hugely into, like, I'm not, like, big into a game where you can't really tell what the story is, but, you know, that's okay. It was still fun. Now, the things I didn't like about this game was it was not optimized well for the computer. The controls were, eh, they were not great. They were not the worst. I have certainly played games with more difficult controls, but... Because I couldn't use a controller with this game and all that, it just made it very difficult to kind of move around. Which is saying something because I do play a lot of games with the mouse and keyboard. I was also not a huge fan of the levels that were padded out with the challenge of how the ghosts were laid out and all that. It's not that I mind a challenge, but it definitely felt like it was trying to just make the game longer, which I think I mentioned before. And it probably was because I think... This whole game is maybe four hours, which is not long. I have played a lot longer indie games, but you know, that's okay. I would actually still replay this. It definitely has replayability value, especially because you have the uh, free level exploration after you beat the game. So that's kind of cool, but it was not the best game I have ever played. Not the best horror game and not in general. It was kind of... It wasn't bad. It was just kind of mid-range. It, uh, it was fun. And I guess that's all there really is to care about. Um, I wish there had been more to the story than what we got. Especially because the end uh, was not terribly heart-wrenching at all. It was, it was an interesting ending. I didn't know what happened Why her. I popped, but I did like when she and her sister went to go pay Poro their respects. I thought that was sweet, but I've rarely played a game where the beginning of the game is more heart-wrenching than the end, so that was a interesting choice. Um, I didn't know what that little dream sequence was about with Poro running into the tunnel while she ran away, but I'm going to assume that he was meant to be protecting her. That's mostly what it felt like. Overall, it was kind of a confusing experience. The levels didn't really go into one another. They were definitely all very separate levels, other than the fact that you can go back to them and explore. But, you know, it did. It does have replayability value. It is a game that I would totally replay all the way through, especially if, you know, I just wanted a short game experience, like, well, 
on the road or something, you know? It's kind of one of those sorts of games. And I am probably going to try the sequels at some point. They look fairly interesting and likely some of the stuff that I had an issue with in this one will be fixed. At least I would hope so. But I can say that I, I still like this game in spite of its flaws. And I want to thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more of me but you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday as well as shorts and extra videos randomly throughout the week sometimes. And I stream on Twitch on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Fridays are usually twice a month, but they have been known to be more. And I hope to see you all next time. Bye.